Now today I want to talk about quitting habits and characters. Uh, personally, I was born in Mombasa and I uh, was born to a single mother. Then uh, the environment, pale lukotu kuishi, um, being uh, uh, raised up with a single mother, and you know how how a single mother when they uh, if they don't have a, a good job, a good incoming ways. So I was raised with a single mother, and tulikuta um, kwamba my mom. Uh, was selling uh, local brews kwa club flani in Mombasa, a certain club she was selling those brews and um, it, life was, wasn't easy it was tough we were like, uh, by that time we were uh, uh, four of us uh, my elder brother my sister my brother and me then we could see the environment. We are sometimes we could go angry. We could live, uh, go angry without eating for some days, and life was that way. So in that, I'll be able to to develop some 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 uh, character and even habits of life. I could go and uh, 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 look for bread in. Uh, in, in, in there's a, a shop somewhere that uh, this person, whenever the bread expires, you throw them and they will go and eat because of the hunger and because of the environment and because we do not have uh, food in the house. So this is, was the way of my life. And through that I developed uh, characters of uh, like uh, being uh, chokora or homeless. Like, uh, I stayed I started uh, living like that then um, my elder brother his character was uh, he was a kind of who could say uh, he, he was he was a, a thief he used to uh, steal here and there and uh, because he did not uh, go uh, to school and finish school so he's, he dropped out of school so he was just walking around in the in the, in the area and uh, through that, he, 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 he got in some, uh, he got some friends, uh, some bad company that uh, got him even into drinking and uh, smoking cigarettes and even taking bang. So, um, so you grow in this environment. Environment, I started adopting the environment living like the way people live find that pombe in our zokwetu i mean the the, the the brew is being sold in our house my mom herself she she was a, she was a drunkard my mom was a smoker and uh, in the, all this environment we were in it so i grew uh, 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 in this environment as i grew I thank God that um, when 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 uh, a day came that my elder brother had his own house, so one day I went and spent to his house. I spent there. Uh, so as we were sleeping, uh, we were covering ourselves with the sh one sheet. Then uh, the the smell of the smoke, the the cigarette that. Uh, I mean, affected me that I didn't sleep very well. And then from that time on, I said, I will never take smoke a cigarette in my life. If this is the way the cigarette affects somebody, makes somebody to smell this way, then I will never take cigarette. And that's how I did not take cigarette because of the way uh, uh, I felt uh, the, the smell of the cigarette. Then... Um, as we were growing, I uh, somehow my, when my mom was selling this uh, local brew, Changa, and sometimes Mchuchula, sometimes I would test, and um, just for fun, it's not that I was really uh, in it, I was taking it just for fun, as I was around um, uh, between 8 to 10 years, I was just taking them as for fun. But in that, I was building that character, that habit of taking Chang'a and even uh, 
this other local brew in Mombasa, those Mnazim, Chuchula, Changa, and sometimes even Kukotuna uh, Zita Spirit. So I would take those uh, sometimes up in Apale. And um, it became part of me. Then uh, there was a day that um, it, it was like a, my cousin. Uh, I used to go to his place sometimes and then there was this guy who was selling bang, marijuana, bang, was a bang and then he was bringing uh, them to my, my cousin's house so that they to roll them and uh, and all that to, to roll them, I would, we would help. Then through that, one day I said, hey, let me try this, uh, we're being given to Vute. And then me, I voted. The first time I felt like I, when I go home, I nanza kucheck. I start laughing for no reason, just laughing, just laughing, feeling happy for no reason. And then I did like twice, thrice. Then I felt no, this bang is young. We can find any way cheese. We can find any kind of jinga zuzu. I stopped. Then after some years, some years. I went back to the, the guy that now was selling this uh, this bang to stay uh, in his house. Now that was 1995. Uh, I went to stay to his at his place, and then I uh, was helping him to sell this bang and all that marijuana and all that. So his his cousin Kukonaya apple and then we kanzatena to smoke a bang. Kanza kuvuta, kavuta mara kwanza. But this time round, now I'm becoming so serious. Niki kamali staki kucheka, staki kucheka, staki kunge. I'm just serious, sitting down. But my 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 personality is that personality of being happy. Na penda kurukaruka. And then this niki chat kulai bang. I just don't want to move. I don't, just want to sit one place. Ah, nikaona inayapana. This one is not me. Let me stick to drinking changa and uh, local brew mnazi mchuchula, this one. But bang, this is not for me. Because when I uh, drink changa or I become drunk, uh, drunk and nikisha leo, I'm just so happy, making fun, enjoying life. So, Around there, there were these these women were going to use these ma 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 changa, pombe, kutek, and um, and my friends. Most of my friends were those people that tuna changa, tunaenda tunafuna. So my 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 days of kunwa pombe was Wednesday and uh, Friday and Saturdays. Those are the days that really tuna tuna kunwa ga uh, pombe sana. I will take uh, will Changa Pesa, go and buy Jik, Nus Jik. We will start like maybe in a glassy glass, and then Nus Jiki, and then Jikimzima. And then from there, we go to Kamam Kwam Chuchula. We take like one bottle or ama, ama more. We go to Mnazi and Nirukona uh, Lewa proper. Gonna lewa sana na lewa mpaka yes and then slowly there's some people and the kunita odiam levy odiam levy and man this dinam levy i didn't like it and through that i felt hey, i really need to quit this uh, uh, uh whole thing of kulewa but uh, the environment the people that i had the friends that I have, nilikuwa lazima nita, nita kunwa tu. Because they will offer to buy me this uh, changa. And that's how things went. I gonna kunwa. Then in 1996, I left Mombasa, went up country, then came to Nairobi. When I came to Nairobi, I lived in Dagoreti Corner for some time. Then I, as I was living there in Dagoreti Corner, 
I still had friends ambao walikuwa wakikunwa. But this time liko tunaenda gatu sana kwa ba because these people are musicians and they were very good friend of mine. So we could go there take some beers sana sana Kendrew that was my my favorite beer and I uh, could go with them but I felt like I still ah ee mambo na mapombe hii mimi nataka niwache how do I leave these things then I remembered some of my friends who helped me when i start uh, the first time i came to nairobi in uh, 1991 i remember these guys and these people were people were uh, going to church they were serving god and they were people who loved god with their lives and then i said let me go to these people again go to church then when i started going there I started uh, uh, changing and quitting this char- uh, this uh, character and this habit of drinking and slowly but surely I left Pombe because now I was shown the right way to live and the right things to 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 do and new in a good environment to live in and that's how I was able to quit um, uh, uh, drinking of alcohol. Now it's more than almost 27. It is 27 years. In fact, in this in this in this month of September, this is 27 years since I stopped. I've been sober. I've never taken anything alcohol, and I've very fine i'm very normal i'm very fine so basically why am i saying these things is that um how to quit any habit or character you see um character and habits is something that one builds and you build through you build it through learning and through living with people and practicing that's how you you you, you build these characters you these things is not uh, uh, this character and habits these are not uh, personality personality and uh, and character as two different things and now character is something that uh, you build and you build it through learning and seeing people how and working with the, with the people that's when you learn it and that's how i came to build these characters first the 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 the, the, the other habit that i had of drinking and all that and uh, just being free uh, free it was because of where the environment that i was so this thing the environment that you live and the people that you live with that you associate with these people influence your character and your habits and for you to be able to 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 change these things now you have to leave these people you have to move from this environment to another environment there was a guy that uh alikotkisha hapo kibera and uh, alikuja akapotea tu for some time and uh, after some years i met the guy nikakutana naye hapo nikapiga eh, story ndiye ananiambia bana well, if you still live in kibera there are some things that you'll never change there are some character that you'll never change so for you to be able to change you have to move that thing iliniingia sana kwa ki, kwa akili kwa, kwa moyo you have to move from this place to another place for you to be able to grow and change and that's how i moved uh, i changed and i came to realize it is true for me to be able to change i had to move from this place to that place so i came to nairobi in 1996 97 98 
99 December around 25th I went back to Mombasa so when I went back to Mombasa I was going there basically to go and see my brother who was in jail by that time and I was going just only my my, my main plan was to go there for only two three days and then come back I went Unfortunately, I did not uh, calculate myself well because I didn't carry enough fare ya kunipeleka na kunirudisha Nairobi. So I went and uh, <clears throat> as I went there, I just went back to those guys. In fact, I went to the play. Uh, uh, okay, I lived with uh, uh, my uh, my other cousin for some some days. Then uh, I went back to live with the, the guy who used to sell bank in his place and by this time now there are so many people with different characters and uh, as i was living there in 2000 now 2000 i went back again to start drinking alcohol changa nazi and uh, just living like that i went and i even made uh, became a friend with another guy i mean who was very good at uh, kununua he was working very well and he could he used to have money but he could not give us give me any single sense but nikitaka pombe of any kind ataninunulia so that's how i built that i i went back and i i stayed in mombasa for like 7 months went back to these things and started drinking again then i remembered I'm being influenced by my environment, by the company that I kept, by the friends that I have. So, I made a decision, came back to Nairobi again, to be with the people influencing me positively. And then I quitted and I stopped completely. Now, from 2000 up to date, I've never taken any alcohol. Because now I've remained with the people who are sober and people are really influencing me positively. So, for you to quit all these things, first of all, you must know the people that you're walking around with. The people that you're walking around with will influence your character and your habit. Two, the environment that you're living in where are you living three people whom you are uh, you are looking up to who are they what character do they have three have personal 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 uh, personal conviction and values have personal conviction and values because if you have your own values then you'll be able to value yourself so this is the way how to to really quit any habit and any bad character or any character i had friends when i was in mombasa these people they had both parents they had uh, father and mother and they are they were very, they were being taken good care of they were protected especially from me because i was the bad boy because of the way naishi my life i was carefree so these these friends of mine were being protected from me they were not allowed to be with me but as years goes by as they grow they were growing Nowadays, they are the ones who are in so much alcohol, so much drinking of, of, of alcohol, so much taking of bang and even cigarettes than me. In fact, whenever I meet them, they say, hey, where will we survive? I mean, where will we end up the way around, the other way around? Since to end up the other way around. They were not living, they were living... Uh, uh, good life quote unquote good life but now they are living a life that is not good anymore because they value they were valuing my life at that time 
but they were the environment that they were living could not allow them now that they have grow up they've grown up they want to live that life themselves so basically you can change from good habit to bad habit depending on your values if you value you value uh, your values are, are are misplaced then you'll value those uh, uh, that life but if you have right values then you'll have right life and right um, moral life that's how you quitting uh, quitting this now i want to share with you some few things that are from the scriptures the bible that is proverbs chapter 13 verse 20 that says he who walks with the wise grows wise, but a companion of fools suffers harm. Basically, you walk with wise, you walk with good people, you walk, I mean, you will grow wise, you will think of way, I mean, you will have good values and all that. But if the companion, if you have a company of fools, those people have not, uh, have don't have values you will have the same character and the same thing so these things happen in both ways what are your values what are your values in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter chapter 15 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 33 say do not be do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. Do not be misled. Basically, we are normally being easily misled by the things, the way we, we see things. That uh, you cannot, is, do not be misled. The company, the people that you keep, they influence your life. They influence your character. Do not be misled. Usidanganyike kwamba, hey, ah, mimi siwezi, mimi siwezi. It will take place. Don't be misled. Basically, we are being misled. And uh, this company, at your siwezi kwa come out, you, they will influence your life. You will behave like them. You will want to do things like them. So, bad company corrupts good character. Finally, Romans chapter 12 verse 2 says, Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good pleasing and perfect will conforming it means to copy to copy and want to be like the the, the way uh, uh, world is the way that a person is talking acting behaving the same as that person but what you need to do is just to renew your mind that's how you can quit uh, 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 you can quit any habit or character. You start by renewing your mind, renewing your attitude. You first have to have intentional attitude that this I have to work on and stop. And uh, with that, you renew your mind, you renew the way you think, you renew the way you behave, you renew everything about you. If people knew you in this way, now you renew your heart. That's how you'll be able to change any habit or any character. Because if you do all these things now, you'll be able to see things in a clear way. So, you want to quit any habit, any character, look no further. Look within you. Then, know your values. Then, make the necessary changes that you need to change. You want to move from from this house to that house 
move for you to be able to change this character you have you ma you want to change friends sacrifice them change those cars it is something that you have to sacrifice you have to fight for it for it to change i had to move from mombasa to nairobi for me to be able to change i had to quit from different things there's sacrifice that you have to make to quit and change any habit are we together i thought that that's what i should share with you guys and I'm really back. I'm going to come with back with more, more inspirational, helping and changing things that you need to know. But for now, quit that character that you want to quit through this. Thank you. Enjoy your time. Please subscribe to this channel. Please press that uh, button and then subscribe and share with many people because there are so many things that are coming on this unique channel tv thank you very much be blessed